Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, y'all. So this week we're talking about self-control. Very important. Very, very.、Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be reading in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28. It says, "A person without self-control is like a city with broken-down walls." Wow,、Ooh. that's a very, very clear and good visual. If, good, good job, Lord. That was a good one. That was a good. So,、um, self-control is really important, and you can kind of have different areas of self-control where you need it. It could be in greed, or it could be in. What's another area that people don't have self-control? The thing with self-control to me is like. You don't. I don't think you were born with self-control. You know, God puts it in here because it's something you have to work for.、Mm -hmm. Self-control is not something you just wake up and you have it. I mean, everybody struggles with it, I'm sure.、Mm -hmm. But I mean, unless you're Jesus, but、um, I don't think you are. Everybody has struggled with self-control at least once in their life, and it's just you got to pray about it and go to God and say, God, please lead my actions and stuff. Because、mm -hmm. I mean. Like we've said in other like new difference that this life can get very hectic and very crazy and very stressful. But if you don't have that control and the peace of God, then and you go crazy.、Boop. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of people in the big time industries do that. So just be smart with all your decisions and carve every word that you say. Every time I hear self control, I think of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Okay, there we go. Throw back to Colby. Yeah, hallelujah. Please, Colby here. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. <laughs>